my corners up, fully reinforced right to the top. Shame we couldn't have built it all in one day. Because we wanted the extra course of block, but with it being bank holiday Monday, we tried everywhere we could, so no one had them. That was frustrating, but we got there. Good Monday the 28th of August bank holiday and it's um it's shite with um how long have we had off Al? Three days? Three days waiting for the weather to turn. Plus I haven't been well for the last two days. I think taking all these tablets from my pep from my legs starting to make me feel ill. Um so it's not been a good few days. Well, it's been a nice few, couple of days off, but we need to get this finished. So we've got here really, we've got here really at half seven. It's about quarter to eight now. So we all got all set up last time we we're here. So we just need a window of about four hours just to get it finished. It's straightforward enough. It's only going up another five, three courses on top of that. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, about there. So, yeah, that's it. I've done the mix nice and stiff. Yeah, just as, just as the mix went in, the rain started, but it seems to have easing off a little bit now. I think it's given more <clears> of those on and off days, we've just got to soldier through. Yeah, as long as it's not raining too heavy, we're okay. But it's just, just frustrating. Just need to get it finished. Our next job's on, on this road, but just down, down there a bit. I think there's a steel on that one, so a couple of days inside, because the forecast isn't good for the next week. And this is August. Well, what's left of it? Three days left. <clears throat> so, mix is in. Did you put the extra sand in, Al? Well, what do you think? It looks quite weak. I don't want to... No, stick an extra spade full in. Yeah. Yeah, so there you go. And then, when we're done here, it's just that bit of pointing down there. Down the flags. Let's put you somewhere where you can see what we're doing and we'll crack on.
There we go, it did stop raining for a bit, so we jumped out. We actually had our break at 8 o'clock, <laughs> so we're working through break now. So there you go, my corner's up, fully reinforced right to the top. Let's see, that's full of water, those. You can't quite see the metal that comes to about there. But that, um, that was off one of our last jobs, it was the roller, sh roller off the garage door, so we chopped it up for scrap, but it just slid straight over the. Um, the reinforcement which goes down to about here so um that's reinforced right at the top because it's having gates hung on it so um that's also drilled down into concrete too so that's going nowhere that so yeah we're getting there two courses to go i'll also be back in a minute from the toilet so we'll get these two blasted on and then i need to get the coping sorted out i've cut them all but they just need um, just straightening up and tidying up set you up again somewhere else for another view and we're we'll back to time lapse the wind there you go eight courses just need to double check with the customer that is happy with that height I think he is because he didn't want it to go too high because it's going to be slightly lower about two courses lower than the original but um, 
it's still a good height and it was really high at that and you can see it went up to the hedge and he didn't want it that high so I'll just speak to him now I need to nip off to tool station to get a new blade so yeah there you go shame we couldn't have built it all in one day but um, it was a bit of a challenge day one so at least it's done now anyway things up it's still raining on and off which is frustrating but we'll get these tops on get these copings on top and get it covered with bags and that'll be it the, the, the radio's on it's only talking don't get copyright on talking right, that'll, that'll be the next step I can borrow their things on. I can do the six and the two. Six is on the wall, isn't it? I've set the top two upside down so I can fill the holes up with the mortar.
So that's it, we're out of block. Alex got his corner set up, my corner set up. You just make out the last bit of steel that's slotted into the other one, so that's nice and solid. So I'm going to fill this up with mortar now and lock it all in. Alex just get the joints and thing down there. So um, that's it, joint up going because we can't get these block anywhere. It's bank holiday and um, the only place that does stock them is out of stock, which is Salco's. Which is a bummer, but these things happen, so we're back tomorrow to get the rest of this, get this top on and get the copings on. So we'll just get jointed up and uh, tied it up and away. There we have it, that is that is finished height, and then it'll be copings. So it's a mix up, mate. So we will for you it'll be like we're just carrying on as normal, but we'll be here tomorrow, so we'll see you tomorrow. When the shops are open. Yeah, when the shops are open. But for you it will just be we'll be getting that like next course on, so see you see you tomorrow. So, welcome to day three of a two, day one, two, three, day four of a two, two day job. <laughs> yeah, this one's uh, gone a bit south. We ran out, uh, 
because we wanted the extra course of block, but with it being bank holiday Monday, we tried everywhere we could, so no one had them. Fairwoods of Bershko got loads and loads, so we've been able to pick them up this morning, and it's a late start because the weather forecast was crap again. So it's quarter to 11, so we're all, we're all geared up to get this last course on, and I just need to um, tidy up the copings that I've cut. There's a few wonky cuts, so I've got to get them all straightened up before we get them on top of here. Um, Alex is going to do the block work, I'm going to sort the copings out and then we're going to get them whacked on and then we've got a lot of cleaning up to do because um, because of all the muck where we were working it's all trodden out onto the tarmac so that's going to need a good scrub um, I probably should have brought the brick acid with us but we forgot it and then we need to go down to next door side and give that a good clean as well so once that mix is ready Alex is going to whack the line up with our fixed bricks and get them the last 13 blocking and then by that time, I should have all the copings cut and, sh and uh, nice and straight. So, um, I'll put you somewhere out of Alex's way and we'll catch him in a bit. ready for these. Uh, 190, 135 walls, we've got 50, 27 and a half overhang each side. So put a full one up at the far end, full one at this end, put bricks on and then run them in. Make sure there's a slight fall from left to right from one side of the other just so the walls and the walls doesn't sit on the top. Now let's get these batteries charged and put on.
Right, we did have that set up different to that. We had that full one going to the end to bond over the corner. But then when I worked out the uh, pieces, I didn't allow for it going past. So it would have ended up with a 120 mil piece here. So what I've done is I've bring that one back and add this one here. Go across that way. Oh, wants to go that way a bit. But it's not 30 that. That's it, both sides. Yeah. Yeah, so that what I've done there is just means that's a bigger piece and that's a bigger piece. So that's it. We just thought a straight wall would be so tough. Uh, but it's just a, just a bad height for the um, reaching and the ground too bad for uh, putting trestles up. So Alex has done it all off the hop up while I've done all the cuts. Because I, I did all these cuts and they were all over the place, so I've redone them all. Just reduced them all down to 190 so they're all nice and straight. So I've got a uh, most of them have got good edges on and then a couple of like centre cuts have got a, a cut edge on but it'll all weather in eventually. So now it cuts in, I get all the stuff cut, cut away, we can point up, clean up and get out of here. So um, we'll get back to you when we're done. There you have it. That was frustrating, but we got there. You wouldn't think that it took us a whole day, more or less, just to get that done. And all the cleaning, obviously. You never never underestimate how much time cleaning takes. But there we go. Happy days. That's a, li that's a bit more plumb and sturdy than the last one. I can tell you that much. But, as you as you know, six inch block, uh, screw bluebirds in every other course, and some nice toppings. Reinforced as well. Reinforced with steel, yeah. A steel rod going in. Well, there you go. That is another job ticked off the list before he gets his hip done. So. But thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, be sure to hit subscribe and tap on that bell, that way you'll always be notified when we upload. And again, if you want to give extra support, there's a super thanks in the down, wherever, wherever that is. <laughs> again, not necessary, but appreciated. This has been Rick Lang with Steve and Alex, and the cat somewhere that's been bugging me for food all day. And we will see you in the next one.